Well, good afternoon, y'all. I woke up about like 2.15. And uh, anyway, uh, my eyes are blurry. But anyway, I um, uh, looked on the porch and look what I have. Well, not the porch, on my steps. New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures from the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, they, I, I called them to ask if they could send me another copy. And uh, the fellow that I talked to at first, he took the order, and then like a week and a half later, somebody else called me up, and they said they would send it to me, and they were like, asked me if I study this and the other. They were kind of luring me in, trying to drag me in. I'm like, no, I do study. I've I got quite a few Bibles. I said, I just want it for my uh, collection. So, um, oh, I'm seeing double here. So, anyway, uh, he sent it and everything, and it's kind of, it came really nicely wrapped, I have to say. It's just uh, how he sent it was just very nice. But I've already been there and done that with Jehovah's Witnesses, and I'm not getting back into that. And so, uh, yeah, and um, a lot of uh, things that I totally don't agree with. <laughs> and uh, anyway, um, I got like uh, 30, 30 years full. Not 25 years of a, of a story I can tell you on that, but I'm not going to even try. But I did like the letter he sent me, though. Um, he said, Mr. Tom Holiday. I used my uh, first name and a nickname of my first name, so which is Tom. And uh, so I, I could go by Tom. I could go, I'll go by Butch. I could go by Tommy, but I'm not a Tommy so much as I'm a Butch. Anyway, this is what he sent me. He said, Dear Mr. Holiday, I enjoyed talking to you on the phone Wednesday morning, October 13th, 2021. Here is your New World Translation Bible I have promised to send you. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Some of the world wonderful features of this Bible translation, the introduction of God's Word on pages 5 to 36, which shows where you do find, to find the answers in the Bible to Twenty commonly asked questions also outstanding features that it restores God's name Jehovah nearly 7,000 times in the Old Testament and over 200 times in the New Testament where it religion originally occurred. This is explained in Appendix A4. Uh, you can also access the Bible on at jw.org. This is something other about a brochure which I'm not interested in. They're trying to get me to come over to Joe Witness Church, and I ain't going for it. But anyway, 7,000 times, the King James Bible has it where it needs to be. So that's what I'm sticking with. Well, I'll take a look at it here later and see what it says. So, so i got my hand here. The New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Uh, this one is 20, uh, 1984. Copyright. And this one is in 2013 copyright. This one, I got this in today, well, yesterday actually. And so I found that this says something slightly different than this one does. They have some words the same, but for the most part, both of them have been changed up. I mean, uh, the newer, the 2013 has been changed up. And really, it's not so much of a big deal because, you know, they knew they were going to do it anyway. Being this a Jehovah Witnesses Bible and everything, that I mean, I wouldn't discount that at all. Of course, this is the uh, United Bible Society's translation, of course. So that's, that's not nothing big. That's typical. So this Jehovah Witness Bible is different than this one as far as words go. Um, there's a couple, several scriptures really we can show you, I could show you here. So in uh, Genesis chapter 1, it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth proved to be formless and waste, and there was darkness upon the surface of the water, of the water deep. And God's had a force was moving to and fro to and fro of the surface of the waters. That's the 1984. Now this is what the uh, 2013 says. Okay, so this is what the 2013 says. Is in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. How the earth was formless and desolate, not waste. And there was darkness upon the surface of the, of the watery deep. 
and God's active force was moving about over the surface of the water, not to and fro, like the uh, older one says. So throughout all this Bible here and the other one there, um, the words have been changed up. In almost a 30 year period, they change it up. How about that? So you remember last night I showed you about some things about this Jehovah Witness Bible here. And um, I want to show you something else here. In 1 Samuel 21, 19, if I can get to it. It says that, we already know that David killed Goliath. But it says, and war rose again, once again <clears throat> with the Philistines that go <clears throat> and the El and the son of Jerorium. Jer the Bethlehemite got to, got to strike down Goliath the Gittite, the shepherd whose spear was like the beam of a loom workers, loom of workers. Now that's uh, 1 Samuel 19 and 21 19. Now if we flip back the other way, we go to 1 Chronicles 20 and verse 5. It says, And there came to be war again with the Philistines, and now I the son of Jer got to strike down Lami, the brother of Goliath, the Gittite. See, it's, it's, uh, it went from, uh, we struck down Goliath, dead. No, we got Lami, his brother. So that, of course, hasn't changed in the uh, older 1984 Jehovah's Witness Bible. But now let's look at the other one. Okay, so now in the 2013 edition, it says pretty much the same thing. Uh, and war broke out again with the Philistines at Globe, and Elhanan the son of Jerorgim, and the Betham, the Bethamite struck down, not got to strike, but struck down Goliath the Gittite, whose spear had a shaft like that below loom workers. Now, go to First Chronicles 20 and 5, and this uh, 2013 New World Translation, it says, And there was war again. With the Philistines and Al and the son of Jair struck down again, got the strike down, was taken out. Alami, the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, whose spear had a shaft like a beam of a loom worker, a loom workers. So, just like many other Bibles, the um, Matthew eighteen, Matthew seventeen twenty one, Matthew eighteen eleven, they've all been taken out. And they got like these little, you know, things. Say, hey, that's what it really said. But as you see, it's not there in Matthew eighteen eleven. This is in the old one, eighty four. You think it's any different in two thousand thirteen? Let's see. No, nope. no, nope. it's not any different. But they do got like a little asterisk beside it, and literally mouth, whatever that means. Um, hmm. Where is it at? It's kind of hard to find. That's what they call perversion. It's not the truth.